And now we welcome in one of the linebacker stars on that BYU defensive side of the ball, Isaiah Kafusi. Isaiah, welcome to Studio B for the first time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It took media day to get you here, it, it but did. hey, you're here. Yeah, my little brother's actually been here before I have, so... Hey, what's he, up? He's what? got little brothers. You know how they are. Come on, Jackson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you had an outstanding uh, 2018 season. That means you get to participate in Media Day in 2019. Yeah. So um, describe what the last year has been like for you as you went from we're not sure who this guy is to one of the stars of the defense. Yeah, uh, it, it was a crazy, crazy ride um, the last year. A lot of opportunity, and I, I, I think I ran away with some of the opportunities and kind of made a, a name for myself. Um, but it, it's been fun, uh, challenging, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of dedication to, you know, to football and to my, my skills and my craft and bettering myself as a person, as a player, as a husband, as a, as a father now. Um, just, it, it's been fun, though. It's been a, a, a good year, I think. So did you have a <clears throat> uh, child in the last year? Yeah, so we just had our, our first six weeks ago. Congratulations. Congrats. Girl, yeah. Boy, girl. Boy. Name? Boy. Foster. Foster. Foster Lakai Kafusi. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Congratulations. We've, we've, we've uh, they've already offered him a scholarship, so <laughs> he'll, you know. They being BYU and Utah, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's part of the birthright. If you're Kafusi, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Isaiah Kafusi, with this, you had surgery on your ankle to replace some, or to not replace, but to repair some ligaments. Um, how's the recovery going? What's the status? And uh, you know, where are you on the line to getting back to being 100? percent Yeah. Um, you know, like you said, I had ankle surgery after that Utah game. Uh, it, it was kind of rough. You know, it's, it hasn't been the easiest recovery. A uh, lot of hard work, a lot of rehab and therapy uh, to, to really get the ankle feeling right. Um, but I'm feeling great now. I'm, I'm, I'm not limited in any any drills, um, any movements. And, and I'm feeling good, so just working up to, you know, really getting game speed, I think. I, I think I'm going full speed, but then there's game speed, I think. So really working hard to that, and, you know, I've, I've got, a, you know, a couple months till the first game and then, you know, a month and a half or so till fall camp, and, and I'm feeling good. Uh, I, I think there'll be no problems at all. We look back at that Utah game, <laughs> and it's like, oh, man, three injuries played a significant role, right? You, Corbin Kafusi. And uh, Matt Hadley. Yeah. Do you feel like if all three of you play in that game, stay in the game, that you hold on? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and have you it, thought about that a million times? Yeah, it, it's it's gone through my head a few times. Um, and and you know that you can't do anything about it. Sure. It, injuries are part of the game, and uh, it was unfortunate for us. But uh, it's over. It's done with. You know, it's we not have, over for me. I'm still it, thinking about it. it and you know, <laughs> I, I still think about it, but it, it doesn't weigh me down. It doesn't limit me sure. at all. And um, I'm excited for this year. And, and, and kind of what's going to happen. And health is a big deal, right? You see, this is this is a, a Utah was <clears throat> undermanned offensively as well, right? It, it was both sides. But um, the fact that BYU's up 20 and things are rolling and you guys are playing really well, real, and then ah, the depth, you know, wasn't yeah. quite, it's the end of the year. That's been talked about, and it always is preseason, but how do you feel about the depth of, say, the linebacker position where yeah. I think there were 18 last year and nine were seniors, yeah. so that's a yeah. group that graduated a lot of guys. Yeah, and, and you know, they have they did a really good job, I think, at kind of teaching us, the younger guys, how to, you know, just kind of about the linebacking spot in general. Um, I'm really excited this year, though, about our depth. I mean, we have Zane and I, you know, we're kind of the oldest guys. You know, I'm a junior, he'll be a senior. And then we have Jackson, you know, Chaz, Keenan, Alex Muschella, um, who else do we have? Peyton Wilgar. Peyton Wilgar, you know, Max Tooley. I mean, they're just like, you can't even remember all their names, you know, because there's so many young guys. And uh, I think they're going to just excel. Um, you know, Zane, Zane and I have try, tried to, um, you know, really teach them. We, we've had film sessions and we've had extra PRPs, you know, just to get out to teach different concepts. And uh, it, it's been fun, you know, to teach them and, and just kind of see it click. You know, I was once in their shoes and, had guys like Fred and Bush and Sione, you know, do the same exact thing. And, and it's just a matter of time, and that's just kind of how, you know, the tradition goes. Uh, and, and so I'm really excited about our depth. I think we'll rotate a lot, get a lot of fresh guys in, and stay healthy. BYU Football Media Day continues from Studio B. Isaiah Kafusi, one of the Cougar linebackers with us. We talked with your assistant head coach, Ed Lamb, yesterday, <clears throat> and he is – in charge of the linebackers, yeah. and he mentioned how important it is for you and Zane Anderson <clears throat> to be versatile and not just play on the outside, but potentially come and play a little bit on the inside yeah. and be a middle linebacker and teach some of those guys, and especially in the nickel package. I mean, that, they're asking a lot of you. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that role of being a leader for all of those young guys? Yeah, it, it's uh, a little bit daunting. You know, I've never really um, strived to be, you know, the main leader guy. You know, I've always just kind of tried to lead by example. 
Um, and so I, I think, you know, it's just wherever coaches, you know, want me to play, I'll do that, you know, and it's kind of just having the attitude, um, you know, if I can pass this attitude down to the young guys where it's wherever they need me to be is where I'll be. Um, and, I'll, and I'll dedicate time, I'll dedicate, you know, whatever it takes to, to really, you know, fulfill what the coaches expect of me and, and what they want me to do. Tell us a little bit about Brother Jackson. Uh, he's in the mix at middle linebacker. Yeah. Um, what would it like be like to play with Jackson? Yeah, it, it, I mean, we had a couple of plays last year um, in the McNeese State game where, you know, Jackson was in at middle and I was in the outside. And it, it's just fun, you know, to be out there to see him play. We, we never really played with each other in high school. He was always kind of younger. And, uh, you know, to be out there with him was fun. Um, I think there was a series where Jackson made the tackle and then I made the tackle right after the next play. And, you know, you hear, you hear the, you know, the announcer say the Kafusi on the tackle and then another Kafusi on the tackle. You know, it's just fun. And then Corbin was in on the tackle and then it's like another Kafusi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With Isaiah Kafusi on BYU Sports Nation, you were one of the leaders of this team in creating turnovers last year. In fact, you led the team in interceptions, <laughs> which uh, nobody saw coming, but maybe, maybe you did. I, are turnovers more about a skill thing, effort thing, or luck? Yeah, it's uh, it's funny. You know, I, I've always been a believer in trying to be the smartest player on the on the field, and so a few of those interceptions, um, and I, and I almost had one against UMass. Would have been a pick six, and before that, you know, I, I had seen, I was running on the field, and I told you know our director of football operations, John Swift, I said, hey, watch this, I'm gonna get one. You know, because, you know, I had seen a, a couple of their plays um, and I lined up again and I knew what was coming. So I kind of baited the quarterback. I disguised a little bit and I dropped out. And I think I was just a little too excited to get to the end zone. But I, I think, you know, making plays and turnovers is more about being smart than skill and, mm. you know, athleticism. So I've always been a believer in that. Um, I've tried to, to really focus on that, you know, being smart, knowing tendencies and keys and, you know, just the, the logistics of football, I think. So film study. Film Knowing study. Knowing what's coming, uh, tendencies, uh, you know, tipping your pitch, if you will, in yeah. baseball for yeah. a quarterback. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've tried to – you know, I, I think that, that gives you the biggest advantage to making plays. Gotcha. Last year, this team was top 30 in uh, defensively in points, yards, pass yards, rush yards. Do you feel like this is a defense that can continue to build on that and be at that level? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, the, the standard in the bar has been set. And I think that we're really working hard to, you know, overcome that and, and to pass that. Um, and, and I think we will. You know, I'm excited about the guys we have. Uh, excited about our D-line. You know, they're absolutely just stacked. And I'm excited about our back end. You know, we, you know, Austin and Diane and, and D'Lo and Chris Wilcox. You know, we're just, I, I think, the, you know, the bar has been set and we're working this offseason to just break through it. 72 days away from Utah. <clears throat> you grew up as a Ute fan because yeah. <laughs> your dad played there. When did it all turn blue for you? Oh, man. So looking back at it, um, you know, I grew up coming to the camps, the BYU camps with Steve. And, uh, you know, kind of once Bronson and Corbin had come through, you know, Corbin did his red shirt or his gray shirt year here and uh, started, you know, coming to the camps. And that's, I think, when, I, when it sparked. Uh, and then I got here um, going into my junior year. And got the offer, and it was all BYU then, from then on. And Dad was okay with that? Uh, he, he is okay with it now. <laughs> yeah. At first, you know, it, I mean, he's always loved BYU. He loves, um, I think, the values and the standards here. Um, and he's always really taught us those. Um, and, and I think, you know, having Kalani come back, because my dad played under Coach McBride. And uh, I think Kalani brings that same vibe and the same energy and that the feel here in this program is kind of how um, he, it was when he was at Utah. And so that's, I think, kind of been the turning point is the coaching staff. And now he, you know, he's got his BYU polos and his hats and his lanyards. He's just, he's all about it. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to survive the rest of this day. Get healthy, get ready for the season. And uh, we'd like you to join Kairos Tonga yeah. as a first-time guest in Studio B uh, and give awesome. us your signature. Of course. Great to have you. Hey, it's, it's, Appreciate it, Isaiah. It's good to be here. Foster. Kafusi, the kids. I love Six it. Six weeks ago. That's awesome. You have, you have nothing to do. You're so bored. Ankle <laughs> surgery, baby, Utah. Yeah, awesome. It's been fun. It's been good. You know, yeah. Got some decent sleep. Yeah. He, he's a good sleeper. He doesn't that's, give us too much trouble. That's so. good. It won't last. Thanks, Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy it while you yeah, can, Isaiah. Exactly. Oh, I will.